Dear friends, this is Vikram Prasad Baliawala in USA. And uh, this is part three uh, of our lives uh, in Detroit metropolitan area in Michigan, where we still live in 2021. Um, in part two, I told you that we had a friend at that time, uh, you know, uh, with whom we, I met in my teaching class. He was a undergraduate student. Uh, his name is Bill Hugel, H-E-U-G-E-L. Uh, Bill Hugel, and his wife's name is Jerry Hugel. What an amazing uh, story of these two friends. So when I was teaching at Wayne State University, um, he was the first person who came to talk to me, he became very friendly. He uh, took us outside the Detroit area with our children who were very little, and he had a son too. Um, so we became very close, and again, I want to say, uh, they are still of very close friends, just like he's like a younger brother, uh, even in 2021. Uh, we go for lunch together. But look at uh, some people who have such an exceptional, uh, I would call a, a, you know, unique feature, characteristic, friendly nature. So in, you know, 1970, when we decided to go back to India, he took us at the airport to drop off because we were returning with our little son Ravindra, never to come back to USA again. And there was so much stuff with us, you know, books, slides, and other stuff. We could not take all by plane because it was, you know, not permitted. Only so much was permitted. And um, we asked if we can leave with him and if he can send those in India. And he agreed. So I, you know, provided some little fund necessary for that. And amazing, he did send those by boat. Uh, when I was working in Bangalore, agricultural university at Agricultural University in Hebel, Bangalore, Mysore state in South India. So we went uh, to Calcutta and brought all this stuff. So this is the man I'm talking about on this video. Uh, I have told you before that it's very difficult to find good friends uh, in this country because everybody is busy working and they have no time to spend with you. Um, so when I decided to come back in 1975, and when I wrote to him, he told, time is not good, but you can come back and I'll meet you at the airport. Um, before going uh, to India, again, we were very emotional, but again, reality is reality. We left uh, and then here, we received every stuff that we had left behind. So we were very grateful uh, to them 
husband wife um so when we arrived at the airport in 1975 november around thanksgiving and that's why we celebrate thanksgiving here every year our this year's thanksgiving is within a week uh, when our daughter and our granddaughter is coming from missouri so they met us at the airport took us uh, five of us at their home they placed us in a motel and after that um, we moved in a rental house in oak park area near detroit i had no car so the next thing was i had to have a car i could not afford a new car so anyway um i went to a school at it, its name was shaw college in detroit where i was given a job to teach biology and i was delighted that was my first job in fact, I had taught there part-time, just for a short time before leaving for India. Um, uh, and then, uh, when I went to meet the chairman, uh, Dr. Baba, I have never forgotten. And then a lady, Janet, and they said, Vic, you are welcome, you can come back and teach. So I got uh, professor of biology to teach there on a very reasonable salary for that time and I began to teach. The next thing was I bought a car, old car, and uh, I met my professor and said I would like to buy a home um, and he asked where by that time, I had inquired with an Indian friend, doctor, very nice friend, who is still our friend, Bala Prasad, and his wife, Niru Prasad. They had said they live in West Bloomfield, and it's a very nice area, good for education of children. So we bought a new house. Uh, that deal was that two rooms will be unfinished. It was hardly around fifty thousand dollar then and uh, the master bedroom and the uh, family living room were unfinished the deal was you could have it finished by another contractor and that's why it was cheap uh, fifty thousand dollar and i remember i had no money i had just started to work uh, at shaw college so I asked my professor, uh, Dr. Cook, look, this is the situation. And the paradox was that to buy this house, I had to have one a sponsor and guarantor of the loan. Well, the Cook said, do you think, you think you can afford it to pay your monthly payment? And I said, yes because I'm teaching at Wayne State University. And when I was a student at that time, uh, he had told me, Vic, you better open an account in a bank to have your credit established. Borrow $500, put it in saving account, and start paying $50, $50 a month over a few years your credit will establish. So that's how I had established my credit then. So when I came back in 1975, that credit was already established and Cook became the sponsor of the house for the loan. And we had no um, furniture. Uh, we had no uh, window shades or covers. And his wife was so nice. Uh, she stitched curtains and she placed it. 
So amazing, you can see again a professor who became our mentor and helper. And that's how we survived. Uh, sadly, they died uh, a few years ago in, uh, in another state where they were living with their um, daughters who were also physicians. So, uh, hum, you know, I will continue. It's, I'll let you meet Bill Hugel and his wife in other tape. Uh, so I will stop here uh, just to say, friends, life is very struggling. And you have to be very good, honest, sincere, hardworking. Um, and you will survive in this country. This is a great country. You will survive. Uh, and there are some other things that I will talk uh, to you how to survive in this country. So I will stop here. That part I will talk in other uh, tape or video. Uh, so thanks for watching. I am a Hindi talking to my relatives and friends. I am saying that in the foreign country, the Jewan is very struggling, easy, and easy. It is not 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 easy. और फैमिली के साथ रहना सपोर्ट करना मंथली एक्सपेंस मीट करना ये आसान काम नहीं है लेकिन मैं सभी हिंदुस्तानी भाइयों को और जो बाहर से आए हुए हैं पाकिस्तान दूसरे कंट्री से आ, कि आप सरवाइव कर सकते हैं जस्ट कीप वर्किंग हार्ड स्टे सिंसियर गेट सम ट्रेनिंग एंड हाई एजुकेशन आल्सो सो मैं फिर आपसे भाई लोग बात करेंगे आपको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद इस वीडियो को वाच करने के लिए